This is Deceive Inc. and our goal is to teach you mates how to play Deceive Inc. and claim your victories. Stick around. Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord by Incoming Lordy and in this video, we'll highlight our crucial beginner tips and tricks through our own live gameplay. So you are ready to destroy the competition in Deceive Inc. This is gonna be fun. So once you've entered Deceive Inc., the first thing you wanna do is go to your agents. Find an agent that you find interesting or captivating. By doing so, you're pretty much able to find a character that you can actually enjoy and have a fun time playing. It could be this character right here and you can double check what they have in their component through their weapon so you can see a little video of their weapon being used and understand if they're doing more damage with it how quick the fire rate is and pretty much get a live example of it then you have your expertise which is one of your abilities on your character this character does become invulnerable once he has his amulet out which makes him pretty much impossible to kill for that brief time that he has it open and his passive well providing him great health every time he does that towards the enemy he gains health back as well and there's other characters you can get initially you started with this character that character and then also squire which is the character i want to be playing today we love this character it's quite fun and quite enjoyable with the rest of that kit so find a character that is correlated with your gameplay and your playstyle. once you have now let's move on to the gadgets you have gadgets per level as well you start with some basic gadgets but then you're able to change it from defensive deception Recon and traps. Find a gimmick that you do enjoy and can utilize to your advantage in order to propel your gameplay even further, getting closer to that victory. Right now, what I'm using for my character is this weapon here being the Lance. We have the expertise being Eyes on the Prize, which give us information about if there's any valuable items close by being a key card, because that helps us quite drastically in the gameplay. And also our passive being the cover ability. So we can stay in cover for a bit longer if someone shoots us before revealing our identity, which is kind of a good mechanic in the game. Then we have our gadgets being our surveillance camera or automatic turret. If someone goes around it in a certain area, I'm able to gain information and also they take damage per second from that turret as well because they're their hostile target. Alongside that, we have our prop art mechanic, which is able to pretty much copy any item in the game and you become that item. Very good for around corner plays and pretty much deceiving players from positioning and there's a combination with these two gadgets that work really well which will highlight in the gameplay once you've found that precise combo you can double check your field upgrades to get an understanding of what you're going to get in the game pretty much little safes that resemble what the item is going to be through the color so if you get a gray safe you get the gray item if it's a green safe you get the green item and vice versa depending on the color and with those benefits you can get certain things like this social battery regenerate health and social interactions and what's given is two health per second so if i want to sit down on a couch and get some health back instead of finding food or going to medical station, pretty much giving me an upper hand while you camouflage as well. So it's really nice. So those are the basics that you need to understand from the main menu. Agents, field upgrades. After that, there's nothing else you really need to know except make sure to press solo or if you haven't done the training yet or the tutorial, make sure to give it a go. There's solo and team. We're going to do solo today. Let's jump into it. And these are the saves I was talking about. If you open that, you're able to get the item that's inside it being a field upgrade. And to open up those saves, you need clues. So that's where you gain clues through these areas here. The scanning ability for the prop and become that exact prop or similar prop next to it, depending on what the area is. And you can count in the scenery. We're on Operation Diamond Spire. That's MVP on the very top on the screen and all the enemies over there as well. They'll be encountering in the gameplay. Let's get into this operation and let's hope for the best as we win against other agents. The goal is when you spawn in, you want to act like an NPC. Best thing to do. You can run around a bit, but be careful of close spawns because that can also ruin you. But get clues on your way because that's very important so that we got a clue there. Now we're trying to find a level two. There's a level two over here. So I'm going to run towards it and hopefully no one realizes that I'm doing this. Camouflage. By holding E on the target, can't flash into it. Just going to grab something. Nice. Get some ammo as well, because ammo is very important. In case we get into any early skirmishes, we can scan here as well, get another clue. We also have an expertise ability, which helps us scan the area, just in case there's something else that's going on here that could be useful. But right now, there is not, so we just keep continuing. That door there is usually got some good loot. So the green staff rooms over here. If you are a green character like myself, being a staff member in a green room, that's obviously very important. If not, Find a character of that similar color so you can match with the scenery. This player is running right over here. I feel like that is a player. It is not. Oh, wow. I got evaded. So let's just go back into cover. So once you've shot in this game, you'll be into this point when you have to go back into cover. Stand still and you'll be able to get in cover really quickly and become your NPC once again. Those are medical stations. Very useful to understand. Usually represented by the medical sign over there. Keep that in mind. So when you're low HP, you can go for it and get those benefits. There's a safe over here as well. Let's open that level one safe to get our first field upgrade being a common upgrade. There we go. Faster hacking speed, really good. So I'm able to hack something like this really nice and quick in order to get my clues for the investigations. So it acts like an NPC, you don't want to run too much. But if you hear gunshots, you can actually fight it if you want to. But you see, this is the blue guy. I want him. He's a guard. Guards usually are aggressive, while staff members usually help out the scenery around them. 
Just keep an eye on everyone as they're walking by. And depending on the way you're walking with your character, with the inputs, that's how your character actually moves in the game. It's not based on where you're looking. Let's open that up. Let's double check this area here. Can we get that? Perfect. Oh, Has on. someone been here already? That box looks empty. Someone's been here. Oh, someone's been here. Oh, I found him. I found him. Get him, get him, get him. You're dead. See you later. First kill. Thank you. Go to stealth as quickly as possible. I want to keep myself in cover. Squire's here. Another player. Dead. Well done. Back in cover. Another player. Oh my god. There was how many plays there? But see, that's what ends up happening. If you get revealed too early, it just goes kind of chaotic. There was three plays there. Not including myself. So it was four in total. That's insane. That's a bit of an understanding of how to play. But let's keep going. And showcasing how to win, because that's the goal. To win your games in Deceive Inc. And have a lot of fun at the same time. So let's jump into it. Operation Hard Sell against a whole bunch of players. Still there, Squire. Let's have a bit of fun here. Just camouflage with the environment. There's multiple floors as well, so get used to the understanding of the layouts of the map. That comes through game time and experience more than anything. But it becomes quite easy. You can also press the Q key on PC to tag a soon era, like one of these terminals, which are very important to go to. So we'll go to that point very, very soon. We just need a couple more clues on the way there. Green card, thank you. And with the green card, we can enter these rooms for free without wasting any points. Bodyguards over here. Nice. Can blend in, we're open this. To be on edge. Thank you. Now it's been opened. Your competition is serious. Play was over there. Keep that in mind. Did anyone take the ammo here? No one took the ammo, so I'll take myself. Let's open these areas here to hopefully find some loot. If we can't find it like that, we can use our ability here to have a shortcut in order to find it even quicker. That is a player. I knew it. Are you not dead? There we go. Perfect. Got the kill. There we go. He's kill. Oh, it's a player. No, that is unfortunate. That's the thing. Third parties are very prominent thing about this game. Especially the early game. Third parties always happen. So keep that in mind when you're playing. See, another third party just happened again. He got the easy kill. Very, very easy. But this is how you pretty much step up. So the idea is to get to this area here. If we got to that purple room, there'll be a terminal there that can access. After three terminals have been opened and actually activated, you get a legendary chip. And then from there, you go to the vault, which is the next step. So we'll go through the process and hopefully get to that point very, very soon. Let's tag one of the vaults over here. And let's go for that vault. Is that MVP? That's MVP. Copy MVP is whenever you can. MVP is the highest category player or NPC that you can copy or disguise yourself as. Always go for that. Pretty much they're accessible in any room. So if it's a blue room, they can go past it. If it's a pink room or purple room, they can go past it. Green room, they can go past it like it's nothing. It looks like they can flash with those scenes because it's able to be done. Okay, I saved myself points there. Perfect. Someone's just here. These terminals here are what you need to activate in order to get the legendary chip or legendary field upgrade. There's only one more vault available and it's already been open. Oh my God, plays are going nuts in this game. Okay, cool. Let's get more clues. Let's tag the next location. So press your Q key when you can. But I know where it's going to be, so I'm just going to run there. Pretty much be concealed. Okay, yeah, we're there. The vault is over here. So you tag it and get to that area as quickly as possible by walking there. Or you can actually run it if you want to. Honestly, maybe running here is really good. Tag the suitcase because that's the point we need to get to. I knew it. That was player. I knew it. Oh my god. It's bugging out! Yeah, my game's bugged. I'm just gonna camouflage myself here. Get back to cover. Hit myself at the med station. And I win this. I win this. There we go. There we go. Now kill all that other stuff around us before we get pushed again. Take his points. Take whatever he has. Oh, I was going to try heal again. No. No, I was trying to heal again. That was so close. So the goal would be to pick up his clues in order to heal again. That would have been the best situation. 
But this play actually third partied really well. And by doing so, you're able to pick up this suitcase and then extract and actually claim victory. Those are the goals, those are the objectives in that line of segments, which is always going to be played out the same, unless all of the players are dead in the actual game that you're playing, then victory is earned on the last player surviving. So that's something to keep in mind. So the first thing I want to do is just rush as quickly as possible to that blue bodyguard. That play there, that might be a player. The way he rushed that freaked me out. I found him! Player! Got him! <laughs> it's a bit laggy, so I bug out sometimes like that. Eat the food as well here. You find a place where you get food. So that's something to keep in mind. Pretty much everywhere, they give it 8 HP. Which is kind of decent. Very quiet. Let's open this terminal over here. Or the door to the terminal. So once you've opened this area here, there's three. I see it's by the top left, by the three bars. Get into this area. No oh no, no terminal here. I got a purple card. And what we can do, you have two choices. You can wait for all the vaults to be opened. Or in this case, I'm going to try and bait a vault. Okay, this location here. If someone tries to rush in, I'll activate my surveillance camera. My automatic turret. And get the kill as well. And then take any of their field upgrades or key cards that I don't have yet. I haven't seen anyone yet. So I'm just going to skip this room. I knew it. I knew it. I was right. He was doing the exact same thing I was doing. So, oh my god. I was about to dip. Please don't judge me. I heard something outside acting weird. I should have known it was just him capping it. Okay, we got a legendary chip as well. And we're doing pretty good right now. But now the best part being a legendary person. If someone goes past us and tries to take our disguise, we straight away know that they're actually a player, like very quickly, which is the best part about it. Let me scan this item over here, so we have an item to actually copy. Perfect, now we should become a lamp. Very good. Okay, let's go to the next stage, which is no other than the vault location. So let's go over there, ping that. Let's go by, let's go by. We should have enough points to open all the doors, because we have key cards. This seems like a winnable game, to say the least. Just have to play my cards right. So this point here, if you weren't the VIP, you would go for a level 3 until level 4. A level 4 in this case being pink or purple, whatever you classify that color. And alongside that being a scientist. So those are bodyguards over there, so level 3. You see scientists walk by, try to take the scientist like this character over here. Control him or control her. Take the disguise in order to go to the next point without being detected. Because if you are, say, at level 3 in a level 4 area, all the level 4 NPCs will try to target you and tell you to get out and reveal that you're in a disguise. So any other player that is in level 4 in that room will most likely try to target you and kill you. See where the vault is? Or the suitcase? Tag it so we know the exact way of getting in and out. Medical station is close by towards us, so keep that in mind. We'll be needing it. I'll open this, and since I'm MVP, no one's gonna know I'm actually there. That's the best part. Because the only MVP here could be silent. If you're not, there's a timer and then you get detected. So we have the suitcase here. That's the area there. I'm gonna try and bait it. That might be good. Only players that will know that this is a fake if they actually really, really experience the game. Surprise, there isn't any players trying to decide to do so. There's a trap here. Oh, he just done it. Just then. That guy's nuts. I don't keep running. Keep running. I lost him. Oh no, this is so bad. How did he do that? The guy rushed in so quickly, I couldn't even hear him. Or see him. I gotta make this run. And hope he doesn't actually extract. Let's see what ends up happening here. He can bait me, he has vision. Once you have the suitcase with you, that's the gold prize. But it also gives you a lot of vision on how to play the game. And I found you. There you go, thank you. Give me all your items. Got the suitcase, perfect. Now I have clues, I can scan around me, see if any other players are alive. I'm unsure, but I'm just trying to just dip. That's my goal. I'm not sure if there's anyone else alive. I'm just gonna go for it. I can't see. We activate this, which is the extraction and vehicle location. There we go. Put that uh, auto uh, turret there. Camouflage in the area, hopefully. Got eye on the place close by. As we use our prop to advantage here against the wall. Kind of decent camouflage. Okay, vehicle is there. Do I see anyone rushing towards it? The auto main turret is not doing anything. Nice. I think we're safe. Go to extraction vehicle. Look at that. When extracting, extracting. There we go. Victory is ours. There we go. I knew I'd win this. I had a feeling. A great feeling. There we go. Three eliminations. Extracted plus 100 XP. Build upgrades. Key cards. Everything that you gain in your game will give you XP to level up your character as much as possible. So make sure you're collecting every piece that you can. And that's very cool. We've got Goopod, a new item available towards us, a gadget. 
and the rest of the aspects over here as you can see reaching a goal of pretty much nearly 2000 xp from that victory really really fun that's how you gain the victories in this game there's a lot of opportunity to become better and better through your gameplay and become a better player and deceive ink and deceive the other players around you in order to reach that victory but this is how to play those are the beginner tips as we did a live gameplay as we play because i feel like that's the best way to learn to see someone else play it and also gain those tips as he's providing at the same time so i'm hoping that was done today if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to tell us in the comment section down below and also tell me your of thoughts in the comment section down below i'd love to know as always mates it's a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we're through this and i'll catch you mates next time bye road to 200k subscribers let's get it mates